Hey guys, so I felt like doing a video on how to make a assault slope because they can be a little useful in the game and you can pretty much uh, achieve them day one or two. I mean, you're going to have to grind for the uh, 400 gold uh, to make a small shipyard, but after that you'll be able to craft them uh, within reason. Um, you know, you gotta have certain things unlocked, uh, resource container, uh, munition, ammo container, cannons, preferably renowned, uh, if you do that, swivel gun, but, uh, and, uh, medium sales, uh, so, uh, let's jump into it. So, I made a couple of things, you know, ahead of time, so I don't have to keep running back and forth. I, I made the, uh, the yard over here, because my other yard, I'm building something in. I just wanted to do a quick video, nothing where I had to go edit to make it look professional or anything like that. So, of course I don't go battle up this game. So I guess let's start with, let's get some of this off of me first. Huh. Oh, I did grab the planks. I was going to say, I did grab the planks? What the hell? Uh, there a bottom one? I can't remember. Nah. Oh, don't need the rest of those. So, yeah, let's get the base of the ship going here. Nothing to point out in that regard. I didn't really bring it up. Yeah, go figure. Sorry, I didn't really. I thought I planned this out a little bit better. I, mean, I know people don't want to watch going back and forth. Just bear with me. But I need like four blanks. Yeah, I wasn't even looking. I'll grab like. I don't know, six or whatever. Let's go see. Yeah, this to me was, uh, I just made this base on single player to teach my buddies if they ever get on. It's nothing special. Yeah, I should be blood but enough. Just thinking if I need anything else. I don't think I do. I think I got everything else. Alright, back we go. We go get dressed after this. I've been I've been lazy today. It's, it's raining out. I've just been streaming. Well, not streaming, but recording. All right. So we got the planks. Um, I always recommend you bring at least one plank in case everything goes to hell when you're out there. It's better to have it. Otherwise, you're gonna sink. So yeah, nothing special about this part, so let's just get all this filled in. I imagine some of you like to utilize that bottom space. I've seen people do it before, but I'm not into that. That's not my bag of chips. And so, as long, if I don't, if I, <clears throat> if I'm not mistaken, it should only need uh, one wall. I didn't use any of them on the sides. So once that's up. Let's see. Where's ceiling? Ceiling. Oh, I got them already. Uh, let's grab the. Because that will be next. And I 
I guess we can grab a couple of those to start on that. So yeah, the wall's good to help you reference. I mean, you need the, the wall to start your base, so start, you know, start there. Um, oh, it's my bar. We're gonna have to probably go look at a pitcher. Just, oh, guys. That would be the thunder. Well, let me just check something in my pitcher. I got another pitcher somewhere. I believe... Yeah, I believe I extend... I don't think I go beyond that. Let's come down here, let's start getting the roofs going. Yeah, you don't need you don't need to go past there like that. Hey, yeah, where's the corner tile? So yeah, we're working on just enclosing this at the moment. And it's just not quite fresh in my memory. Obviously, if you prefer using uh, the ramp, I don't think there's, I mean, there's no difference. It's just aesthetic, I guess. Well, yeah, let me just check something out. I'm gonna do the uh, the munitions next, cause I get a little OCD about getting it to be you know fit properly, and it looks like I do. Yeah, I'll do the I'll do the uh, I'll do the sale first. So yeah, this is preference whether you want to. Was it that close? Yeah, let me go get the ammunitions. I'm trying to show you guys how to do this, you know, without having to move and delete and then re import things or go get them from the uh, base. But my trick for the munitions to get it as best in place. Where's the wall? I'm having trouble seeing what I'm doing. So it's basically you want to come right up to that that board where it says company ID, so it fits within the enclosed area. I can't even tell how. Maybe you want to do it before you uh, enclose so that you get the camera. It's your call. Let's see what, how good of a job we did. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's enclosed. That's good. Alright, so that's in place and it's not exposed to the outer side of the ship. Uh, <clears throat> So what we're gonna do is we'll squeeze the uh, the ammo box in over there, but uh, let's get the let's get the sail up so that's in place so I have a better idea of where everything is. All right, yeah, good. So I guess let's grab the uh, ammo box. So yeah, just rotate it so yeah, you don't have it hanging out of the ship. So yeah, you can come run straight back, you know, pop it open for, or grab over there, grab, drag and drop, well not drag and drop, but yeah, use something, grab them there and put them there. 
And you got that out of the way, so uh, I think the next tile, let's do the resource container first. It's a tight fit, so you, you definitely want to keep in mind, you know, you want to you want to be a little OCD about making sure everything fits and looks good and all that because you don't want you don't want to be in combat and dealing with this. Oh, that's weird. Didn't let me rotate it. So yeah, that's accessible. That's still accessible. That's accessible. All right, so that's out of the way. All right, so let me check this out. So it's probably the I want to say the next tile. See, right now I don't have any pictures up that shows. Nah, do I'll do one next. I'll do. Yeah, you'll see. Get me out of this mode. We'll do one more, and then how's it? How's this look? Get that out of there. I'm not, see, I'm not sure if it goes there or the next one, but for this video... Oh, yeah, I meant to make that a door. So yeah, this will be the door. I mean, if I mess up, yeah, you guys can fix it. Why? It's not let me change type. What the hell? Uh, that's why I hate this game. Snapping to where I don't want. And we could kind of just finish this off. At least. Yeah, I'm hitting T and it's, it's not doing it. I'm going back, cycling through them. Um, I'm out of roofs, anyways. Alright, so we got that. Uh, da 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 da. Da, 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 and that. Yeah, you might you might want to do this first before you go. Uh, putting up the rest of the uh, sides. Yeah, I just want to see where that opens up so I can place it properly. Okay. So. I would think um, placing it there would be your optimal spot. I'll show you where the other two ladders go in a second, but yeah, make sure you place it in the right inside. Um, the rope ladder will allow you to, you know, walk through it. If you place a hard, you know, wooden ladder, you're you're gonna, yeah, it's a solid object, so it doesn't make it like, you know, if you gotta run back to here, you know, you don't wanna, you don't want that in the way. You wanna get the fuck out of dodge. All right, I guess let's start in closing this. Probably gonna need more. I always get mixed up when I'm doing the, the end. See, I only got two pictures up on my other screen, and they're not... I only pulled them up for the inside of the ship, not to actually... Yeah. I'm gonna need one more ceiling tile either way. The other rope ladders are to get on and off because the back's gonna be impossible to board with the NPCs in the way. Uh, so I don't have a real preference or any insight um, as far as where you should put your ladders, but I would imagine you want to like board your ship and run, get in here and close this hatch so that you're safe. Uh, what do we have on here I could do before I have to run back? You could do that I guess, that, that, that. We'll come back to that.
Yeah, we'll finish the outside. Gotta go back to the, uh, the sniff. Alright, so the gun posts, unlike the other ship, honestly, I don't know if there's an advantage to this, but I'm gonna go right up against here. And even though that's in the way, check this out. Yes, even though that little front of the ship's in the way, it ain't gonna matter. Yeah. So what I, I try to do is, I man, I mean, I, I you know, if I do the uh, swivel first, you know, I'll look and get an idea, like, a, you know, unman it, try to just turn around and then, without moving the character, and then placing this. So yeah, let's see how this looks. Mm, yeah, I got more space than I was imagining, but yeah. It's back far enough where the no one's gonna be sniping what little you know build a uh, line of sight that they have after I can close that. They're not gonna be hitting the uh, anyone manning the helm. So yeah, and that small crate for storage obviously goes to the side over here. So there, you, if you have looted any ships, anything of that nature, you can toss it in there. Uh, if you're, I don't know, if you jump off the ship and do a sunken ship, you can throw it in there. But yeah, you, you at least have a storage that you can mess with, you know? Now here's what I'm saying about the, the bed being iffy. I don't like having the bed where, like, if I want to access something, I don't want to, like, if I had to get off the ship, I don't want to accidentally trigger the beds to pop, you know, dialogue to pop up or whatever. Yeah, well, I guess I'll do it on this side since if I place it anywhere over there. Let me see. Yeah, it's definitely finicky. Wow, now it doesn't even want me to let me place it. <sighs> Let's just get the bed there. You know, you guys can fine tune it to the... But yeah, see if that's there, I can't go and do something to the sail, like right off bat. You know, I can't. I could see it, you know, getting in the way and the error ending, recasting that. Uh, so what do we need? We need maybe two roofs. Do I have roofs on me? Okay, so two roofs and maybe three ceilings. Oh, going back to the table. really want to video edit, you know, cropping, you know, all, any trimming, anything like that, or, you know, pulling multiple videos to, uh, together, because, um, uh, Adobe Elements Premiere does not play well with HD. Put it in, yeah, that'll cover it. I mean, uh, 4K, my bad. Honestly, I'm curious. I'm just curious about something. I always use small cannons. Where? Oh. 
Yeah, I, I always use the small cannons, but I never thought maybe the large cannons can actually be placed. And if you can, you probably have to uh, have that ceiling tile two in length. It could be tricky. Sometimes, if the mechanics like the game, if the game figures like the NPC can't actually stand to man the 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 mount the gun, so to speak, it won't allow you to place it there. Let's just see. I'm curious. Ah, great. So yeah. That's the trick. It's because you need a ground tile to place it on. So here's the thing, do I... I don't think I go with, I don't, one more. I think I just do triangle from here, yeah. And then... This gets enclosed like this with the corner. So, basically, because I'm not going to go grab them for this video, but uh, you would load as many as you could fit cannon was off the back here. And then you would take it to a shipyard and you would just set the NPCs to, you know, target the shipyard and, you know, if you could just walk away at that point, go to the bathroom, make some big sandwich, food, go brew some coffee, you know, let it run its course as long as you brought enough ammo and they're on autopilot and they will take out the yard. I mean, it all depends on how many cannons you put. You know, if they're blueprinted cannons, you know, so, you know, do the math, make sure you have enough cannonballs, uh, you got the munitions down below if you need. So, let's see, I think, yeah, we got everything to at least release, I mean, I don't want to keep the ship, but it's, yeah, single player, so whatever. Whatever. And it's always fine again when on sync from the server. Oh, what the hell? Stop. What is going on? I'm glitching out. What is going on? Still glitching out. Yeah, let's go check out the soul wall. So yeah, you see, you got well drained. You're not gonna really hit the ship. Just you know, use your brain. You know, as you can see, it's very limited sniping ability. Whether you're on the soul wall or the captain behind you at the helm. But uh, yeah, let's go give a little demo. Hopefully there's ammo on the other ship, right? I can't even lower the anchor. What's up with that? Oh well. <clears throat> we'll go to the other one that's already done. Uh, I believe there's ammo already in there, but I'll see. Could have brought those rope ladders with me, but yeah, as you can see, <laughs> you're gonna want to put them on there. Yes, yeah, they, they, you know, unless they grapple your uh, your crow's nest. Gotta love this game. Yeah, if they get anything else grappled, they're not getting on the ship. 
What the hell, man? This is... It's like no momentum. Door, the hatch can get a little tricky. Let me see. Just make sure before we continue. Yeah, I got cannonballs, whatever. So, yeah, so I mean, obviously, you're gonna have that hatch. You know, hatch is not gonna be up. And you're gonna not position cannons like the. the you're, better, you're better off just going straight off the bat. You could fit more, at least four. Um, gotta take into account you need uh, the crew points for the uh, both the cannons, the ship, and you being on board, and even more so if you're having a buddy on board. But you know, let's just let's just go with this, right? Other, you know, so you're at sea. You know, let's say that rock right there is your enemy shipyard that you want to room. You know, you'd pull up. You know, position the cannons in place. I, re I don't recommend anchoring. I mean, there's no reason to. You don't get any advantage, and you're only putting yourself at a disadvantage because if any mortar fire starts from above, or any ships show up, or anyone being cocky where they're gonna come and take out the NPCs, because that's always a pain to go get NPCs. So. But anyway, so yeah, you pull up. You know that rocks gonna be our little example. It's like, oh. Uh, you know, set them to fire on that. Which I guess they won't do because it's a rock, but yeah. You know, you'd set it and then boom. You know, with your right click holding and all that aim. And so they're on autopilot. At this point, you could walk away. You know, you could, I don't know, mess, mess around inside the ship if you have something to do. Uh, but yeah, you get the idea. Uh, rapid reload, I don't know, can speed it up. I don't really, oh, excuse me. I don't really remember noticing any difference using rapid reload. It's short-lived, and then, yeah. But, uh, yeah, the, the whole advantage is, is that if you were a solo person using a bear cart, or even if you had a buddy, and you were, he was on the bear, you know, the cannon cart, uh, you, it'd be just one bullet, or one cannonball being fired per round, and, you know, it, it would take forever, and you would manually have to do it. While with this, you can have four to five cannons, maybe you could fit more, I haven't tried, uh, you know, per round, so that's five, four to five balls per round, was that 800 damage, you know, yeah, you could do the math, and they'd be on autopilot, and... You know, you could just sit there, you know, have a beer, your coffee, whatever time of the day it is, you know, just relax. Uh, you can walk away, but I, uh, I would only do that if you're, you know, not seeing anyone else on in the zone. So that you know nobody's going to either try to bear cart you from the shore. Because I've done that to other people doing the same thing. So, yeah, if you're a sitting duck if a bear cart gets pulled out, you know they can move the bear car quicker than you can like re rotate the ship and move the ship and yeah but it's a it's a good little slope I mean it serves its purpose it you know it's a griefing ship definitely but um I don't really I haven't seen anyone do it in like years I mean I did it the last two seasons and I'm I saw people try to copycat, but they didn't have the same design, and it, you know, it, you know, it, it was, you know, flood. You could get to them, you know, board them, you know, way easier. But uh, yeah, well, pretty much once that hatch is down, yeah, let's check it out. Let's do a little experiments. What I was saying, yeah, if that door is, uh, is closed, they're not getting to you. But yeah, let's see if we can. Let's see if we can get in. Alright, so they're in. Okay, so they can get in. Oh. Yeah, one key problem there, unlike the other ship, is this is not all the way to the front. So, yeah, let's go. Let's go. 
Let's go check that out. I'm not gonna bother putting this back in place. Uh, for a second there, I was like, where did we put the other ship? Yeah, I'll, I'll be cutting this short soon. <clears throat> this is just about, you know, building that kind of a ship. An attempt to get views. Making my way there. Okay, so let's see if this is any different. So they're in the water, they're trying to board you. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, you'll have the rope ladders on the side there, but you can retract them just like you can in the back. So that would be hitting L while you're on the helm. So let's see, yeah, let's see. So, you know, they're coming up here, let's see. Besides, if, you know, you, you could swivel shot them. Yeah, let's see. So they got up there, let's see. I guess they can get in. But, uh, A, you know, you'd be on the swivel gun, you know, you could be like, pow, 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 whatever. And even if that's not the case, if you're the captain, you could just be like, what? No. Boom, you know, like, yeah. So you're not completely screwed. But, I mean, it... I, it does serve as a little living area too if you're I don't know maybe you're exploring to go find a resource like something for cooking or you know just looking for another non you know non standard resource something like something other than iron like maybe you're looking for copper or something you know and you just need a scouting vessel and you know, it's late night, you didn't take out some big ship, you just took that out. You could, you know, pull over to an a shore, just anchor up, and, you know, if you gotta take a break, you know. You're, I mean, yeah, obviously if you're anchoring, you, you're running the risk of the ship finding you and killing you, or sinking it, but, uh, it's not like you're a big ship, sore thumb standing out, or, you know, they'll see a slope and they might not be tempted. But, uh, you know, that, uh, the ship attack aside, if you get somebody on the shore that, like, is being a griefer or a troll, if the ship is open, they could get to your bed, they can get to everything else. Uh, they technically still can, but uh, I think you're better off. They also would have to have a grappling hook on them. But, uh, so yeah, this concludes this video. Um, like and subscribe, please, and see you on the next video.